Madam President, we make this statement in solidarity with the people of Myanmar. Their tireless peaceful protest against the military coup have been met with and provoked brutal and indiscriminate violence and lethal force, including the use of snipers with the sole aim to kill. Since the coup, at least 60 people have been killed and more than 2,000 people arbitrarily detained with hundreds more injured. Three deaths with signs of torture and at least three cases of torture in detention have been reported. The haunter has blocked access to social media, imposed regular internet shutdowns, banned six media outlets and arrested 36 journalists. It has begun destroying evidence of its brutality, including by confiscating mobile phones. As a peaceful protesters from the 1988 pro-democracy uprising, I implore you to listen to the people of Myanmar. Results of the 2020 elections and nationwide protest unequivocally demonstrate that this military hunter does not represent the people of Myanmar. The world watch as the same military committed genocide against the Rohingya and war crimes and crimes against humanity against other ethnic communities. Failure to hold them accountable for those crimes created conditions for the current crisis. We call on the Security Council and the international community to impose a global arms embargo and targeted sanctions against the military. Most urgently, the Security Council needs to dispatch a delegation to monitor the situation and prevent further atrocities. The lives of Myanmar people depend on it. Thank you.